hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i do my eyebrows and um it's pretty much the same way i do my clients eyebrows so i hope you enjoy um so just a uh, forewarning my eyebrows i did clean them up but um eyebrows they are not going to be twin sisters they are going to be cousins but of course you do your best to get them to look um as close alike as you can um so i'm just brushing my eyebrows hairs just to see what's going on um seeing do i need to clean up anything um and these are some tweezers i use to get any little stray hairs that are growing pointed tweezers um, these are my favorites, the Sally Hansons. They're angled tipped, and I use them to clean up my brows, as well as these little scissors. I brush up my eyebrows, and I trim the tops, and I trim the sides, um, the angle part, um, any hairs that are too long. I also use this razor if I'm feeling lazy and I don't feel like tweezing. Um, and I use a razor at the top to clean up as well. And this is another razor that I got from Walgreens. The first one you can find at your beauty supply store. So I'm going to give you guys just a guideline of a general rule of um, what your eyebrows should kind of look like. Remember, this is just a guideline. So I'm using my nose as a reference point and a reference uh, place for the brush to sit so that um, if you rest, rest it against your nose um, it should line up that's where your eyebrow should begin I'm sorry now I'm putting to my eye because you want your brush to go right through the center of your eye your iris and the bottom part resting at your nose and that is generally where your arch should be okay just a general guide of where your arch should be and then resting the brush again brush excuse me against my nose and then towards the end of my eye and that for the most part is where your tail end of your brow should be so that is just again a general guideline of um, what your eyebrow shape should be if you're uncertain or unsure everybody's eyebrow is not going to fit in that people have gorgeous beautiful eyebrows that don't fit those guidelines so if you have no idea where to begin you can use that so i'm using an angled brush and today i'm using a brow gel um you can use a powder or a pencil and you can follow these same steps and do it the same way it doesn't matter it's kind of the same concept um but gel personally is the f my favorite so I'm going and I'm starting under my arch and I'm just drawing a line and that's where most of the product is going to be towards the end and I haven't touched the front at all. So I'm just kind of drawing a line under. It's really messy. Don't worry about it because I'm going to have my brows all the way together. So I'm just brushing um, the tail end, doing little strokes, um, kind of light handed. It looks heavy because the product is really pigmented but I am um, brushing and then I'm working my way up to the front since I kind of got the middle and the tail end filled in as much. And I turn the angle of my brush upward. Um, so it's a, I'm kind of going in the direction that the hair grows in the front upward and it's a little bit lighter. And then I'm brushing with a spoolie just to brush the hair so they um, are not packed down by the brow gel. I can see them better and I can see where I need to fill in a little bit more. And as you can see, the shape isn't so nice, but don't worry. I promise you they're going to be all the way together. I'm brushing it through. I filled in as much. Now concealer. This is my favorite part. Um, I am cleaning up my brows with a concealer brush and a concealer that is a little bit lighter. What I used to highlight my face with that same concealer under my arch to give my arch a lift and to highlight um, that will help me when I'm doing especially like quick makeup I'm um, just add a little something and then towards the front I'm using a concealer or even just your foundation um, that is your skin color towards the front so it's less harsh and there is a nice contrast and it um, it's kind of a nice fade into a little bit brighter of a highlight under your arch but your skin tone towards the front um, and that also helps it to look more a little bit more natural and then I am using the same, my skin tone um, concealer or foundation, whatever, <laughs> on the top. 
um, because you don't want super bright at the top. Um, You can if you blend it out really, really well, but generally I use a color that's closer to my skin tone at the top so you don't get that halo of your eyebrows bright all the way around. Now I'm taking a brush and just blending it out, blending everything really well, and then I'm going to go to the front of the brow and blend, 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 blend. Um, Blend it out, make it softer, look a little bit more natural. And my brow is looking together now. I love what concealer can do. I'm going back again with a bright concealer just to highlight. I want it a little bit brighter, just a touch, and then I'm blending it down on the arch, on my brow bone, on the arch. And now my eyebrow is like all the way together. I love it, and compared to the other one, you can see it's way better way way better is that a word way better but I love it and then um, I do the same thing to my other brow of course and then my final step I usually do after all of my makeup's done because powders and stuff but I'm just showing you guys I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel brush through my hairs especially the front so you can really see the hairs really clearly and you see that there's hair and they're full because I love full thick brows and um that you the texture is just back it's not just a block of like a shape of an eyebrow there's hair it looks natural um and And it gets any powder or any makeup that maybe you've gotten in your eyebrows because I always do my eyebrows at the beginning before I do anything else. So that is just my finished brow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something, you use it. See you guys next time.